What's going on guys? TF141 Ghost here. This is episode 8 in primarily secondary. Gonna be using the single model. And if you've never used this gun, don't. Because it sucks. Uh, basically I'm using Marathon Lightweight Ninja. Uh, this is the class I would recommend. Because you definitely need to be in somebody's face to kill them. And if you don't believe me, I got some great examples in this match. And uh, the final score is 39. Probably posted it in the good old title above. And you're probably wondering, you know, that's decent. It's okay for a single model. Well, I get most of my deaths before I get like four kills, which is really depressing. So I decided to commentate this one to keep keep you occupado until I, you know, start killing people. But basically, uh, this is like my second game of the day, and I was kind of just messing around. I was kind of just, you know, getting used to the weapon. And, you know, it seemed to die a lot in the beginning, but it does pull through in the end. It's pretty, pretty entertaining. And that sniper flanked me, that son of a bitch. So, I like to do revenge kills, so I'm going to go find that fucker. But I don't think I do. I think I hear a C4 and then I run over here. Oh yeah, I fail with a throwing knife a lot in this video. I don't know what's going on. I used to be really good with a throwing knife. I'd probably hit like one out of three shots but now it's like one out of fifteen shots <laughs> which sucks man I love the throwing knife um, nothing's better than a throwing knife final kill can it's great uh, here's another fail I can't seem to like lead anyone anymore but whatever I'm gonna be throwing tomahawks soon oh man black ops is gonna be so shitty no I don't know getting some uh, weird vibes with the whole black ops thing Getting kind of excited, and then on the other hand, I don't know. But look at this. Oh, oh God! Why didn't you? Why didn't you die? I'm, I'm, I'm just confused. It was like a foot away. <sighs> yeah, don't use the model. It's really bad, guys. But basically, uh, let's see. I got a couple more episodes to go. Um, got some handguns to do. Actually, got a lot of handguns to do. Um, USP and M9 have been done for a really long time. But I haven't got around to posting them. I'll probably combine the USP M9 video. Make it one big video uh, without commentary because it's not really super interesting. So, yeah, I'm just going to get those up and out of the way. And, yeah, these guys are boosting. And, it, you know, get out of here. Black Ops is coming out really soon. So I did knife fail the first time. Come over here, kill the one guy. And uh, I'm hoping they come back. But... I decided to run off because I'm trailing by a pretty good amount and then start getting shot from the good old distance here an enemy care package drop in oh man oh man I love stealing care packages from boosters take that bitch uh, steal the sentry gun which you know sentry gun is pretty good it's you know it's pretty good in free-for-all it's great on domination if you put it in the right place a, uh, a sentry gun on domination in what is that high rise is just brutal uh, put it on the crane but look at this oh man holy crap uh, basically what happened there was uh, I had my UMP out and I turned the corner and the guy was looking at me so I laid down switched to my 87 and he just like waltzed straight over me like an idiot and that was actually really lucky that's kind of a lulzy moment right there um, I think these kids are still boosting. I don't know. I, I, yeah, yeah, I'm running. Yeah, I was going back to get them, but, you know, kids oblivious in free-for-alls to kids boosting is just, it blows my mind. How, like, even if you don't have a headset, wouldn't you notice from, you know, like the scoreboard or maybe even the consistent headshots on the kill feed that someone is boosting? Uh, it just drives me insane when I'm, I'm trying to run and go get boosters and then I'm shot by a camper kid that doesn't know they're boosting. Um, if you don't have a headset, get one. You know, you can hear that tack insert from like halfway across the map and it helps a whole, a whole lot. And I uh, decided to use my sent, my uh, sentry gun turret, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I think it gets me a kill right here after I die again. But uh, yeah, I got a lot of good clips with these secondary shotguns. <clears throat> I've been saving them from uh, these primary, primarily secondary videos and I'm thinking about doing a nice little montage it should be pretty sweet uh, it's not supposed to be taken seriously it's just for fun cuz I have a lot of like you know like triple kill feeds with the single model and free-for-all and I don't know those are really hard to get so I kinda wanna post stuff like that uh, another knife fail and as you can see I killed those boosters a second ago and 
kids are bad. Just like that kid, yeah, gets shit on. Um, I think I get this guy too. This is a nice little spree right here. I think I just killed five people like directly in a row, including the boosters. I'm um, getting pretty messed up by that guy, so um, when you're outgunned, don't feel bad to run away. You know, that sounds kind of bad, but if you're going to die, you know, just run. Just run, flank them, and, you know, you might get the chance someone else will kill them, and you'll live to fight another day. That's, that's how I see it. But, yeah, um, turret gun gets me a kill, gets me another one. Look at that. And then, uh, see the guy on the horizon with his ghillie suit on, and there's nothing really I can do, so I kind of decided to chase him down, but then I changed my mind, and look at this. Oh, shot in the back. Um, that's what you get for planting claymores everywhere. And this guy's apparently AFK. Get the free headshot kill. And, um, then I hear another guy, so I decided to drop my Harriers. Wait for him. Get us. Wait for this hit marker. Yes. Yes. This gun is so bad. Uh, get my Pavalo. Pavalow. However you want to pronounce it. And decided to sit here. Call in my Pavalow. And a lot of people ask me, why do you call in your Harrier and Pavalow at the same time? Uh, my reason and my thinking of it is uh, people are going to want to shoot down that Pavlo first. If I have a Harrier up in the air that's killing them, trying to, you know, to prevent them from shooting my Pavlo, that's how I see it. Basically, I think of my Harrier as a defense mechanism for the Pavlo. Um, along with the Pavlo, uh, it's like ridiculous. I've had times where it's just consistent kill feed of air support with Pavlo and Harrier. And people people will contest that. They'll be like, well, they steal each other's kills. I don't care. It's killing stuff. So let's let it kill stuff. And right here, check this out. Oh, oh man, dude. The model is so fun. It is. It really is. Like, it's a terrible gun, but it's really fun to use. Um, if you just do lightweight marathon and commando, no, don't run around stabbing people. But with the no fall damage... Just run around and jump off things and try and shoot people with a single model. That's what I've been doing lately. It's a whole lot of fun. Like, uh, Terminal on the Red Roof. Play a game of Domination and just sit up there and just run and jump off stuff and shoot people. Like, it really is fun. You're like, eh, hey, that sounds stupid. I'm not gonna get, uh, 18 kill death ratio. Yeah, but, you know, sometimes you gotta have one. One kill left, guy walks in, and, uh, Terminator shoot him through the glass. And, uh, yeah, you know, pretty decent game for a single model. Turned out really bad in the beginning, but kind of brought it back around. And money flies out of that guy, which is cool, which is cool. But, yeah, uh, expect another video maybe later tonight or tomorrow. And, yeah, you guys have a good day. Leave some nice soothing comments and thumbs up.